So, what money is needed to deliver the agreed project outcomes, considering both the planned activities and an allowance for handling your risks? As project manager, you need to be able to answer this question. You should start to build up the required budget during your planning and estimating but my advice is to only finalise it near the end of the divine process which I cover in chapter 17. My approach to determining the base budget is to create a cost spreadsheet as per the example in the book. This also represents the resource plan because the two are closely linked. But remember that resources aren't always human. I found this approach more reliable than, say, using the output from your scheduling tool. Don't forget any potential hidden costs such as taxes. A contingency fund should also be created based on an assessment of the identified risks. In my experience, this might be somewhere between 5 and 30% of the base budget. The other key concept you should investigate when building the budget is to establish what costs can be capitalised, as this can improve the viability of the business case. So moving on to executing the project, you need to keep track of the money spent alongside the plan progress to avoid an uncomfortable project board meeting. The cost spreadsheet is your main day-to-day -day tool for tracking costs. But never forget that the ultimate source of truth about project spend is the organisation's finance system. So you need to periodically track costs here as well, say monthly, Remembering that there may be a lag in this being updated. So finally, remember the budget makes the project go round.